Uh, hey everybody, Stubby on Fun Line, bringing you some more XCOM 2. Now we're about to go on a retaliation mission, but I thought I need to show you guys something else that I think came along in the latest upgrade. What is this? Psytransmitter. The Psytransmitter confers immunity to all psionic related status effects to its wearer, as well as all nearby allies. This piece of equipment is derived from the psionic powers of Advent's latest Psy operatives that were recently deployed to the field. That's pretty cool. It basically gives you that Solus ability. Solus, of course, the immunity to Psy uh, abilities in the area. I don't think this can be terribly useful because we have a Revive on our, uh, on our specialists, so we're using Revive to remove those status effects. But that does have some other interesting tactical implications because we can then potentially if we can justify respecting our specialists as hackers, we can have the psyops carry these, and then they don't have to learn Solus. But I think, unless they've changed the way the psy operatives work, you can still get all the abilities, so you can still learn Solus anyway. Cool, interesting. Now here's where it gets amazing, red screen rounds. The red screen rounds are derived from the Breacher's, Breacher's AI and anti-hack systems. By using the advanced hack defense system within the Breacher, we are able to create a new type of ammo that can bypass even the toughest of anti-hacking systems. A well-placed red screen round can make the toughest of mechanical enemies ours with ease. What you do is, you put this on the trooper, say, and you shoot it with a pistol once, and I don't know if it takes the hacking down to zero or if it just really hits the hacking. You shoot them again with the main weapon if you need to, and then our specialist, if we've retrained them to be a hacker, should be able to hack into their systems quite easily. So. I think that's going to justify retraining at least one of our specialists, perhaps the one with the highest hack value, away from a medical role and a sort of hybrid uh, medical hacking role. Especially because on our troopers we've taken the extra med kits and never used them. Last but not least, Viper rounds, which seem to be different from poison rounds. But this type of ammo is derived from the fluids within the elite Viper unit our soldiers have managed to eliminate. By using the unique poison that resides within the Elite Viper, we are able to not only create a type of poison ammunition, but paired with the weapon fragments left behind by the Elite Viper, we can also increase a weapon's aim. That's just going to be poison rounds plus extra aim. Sweet! I think that can justify using those as your main biological uh, rounds because of the extra aim. We had Elite Viper corpses, but I think we lost some of those... Uh, we lost a lot of stuff when the recent update came in. Uh, where is the view inventory? Hey, uh, inventory. What's a load of? Where all the corpses? Matrix, stun, trooper, elite. Yeah, it's gone. What I'm going to be doing is uh, stopping auto update on XCOM 2, so it's essentially going to freeze the campaign where it is in terms of tech and upgrades and whatnot. As I mentioned in the last video, I haven't enabled Shen's last gift. I think it's a bit late in the uh, in the campaign to do that. I also noticed Long War Studios just released a laser pack. So for Season 2, we're going to include uh, a bunch of amusing visual and audio mods like the Schwarzenegger pack and the Predator pack. But also we'll, we'll include that Long War Studios laser pack and we'll include uh, the laser pack as well. So that la includes laser tier weapons which I think go between magnetic and plasma. If you guys have seen any other mods that you'd like me to include in Season 2, let me know in the comments and I'll think about it. But I think Season 2 we should maybe just, you know, go full retard and just <laughs> make a crazy ass a modded campaign. But once we've decided what it is, we'll essentially freeze it there so we don't have subsequent uh, patches and updates screwing up our... Uh, causing problems with our mods. Alrighty. So, while offline I've taken the liberty of selecting and outfitting a squad. Let's take a look at what we got. Yeah, there's a resistance haven mission, so we've taken the best of the best that we can feel. We've got a bunch of colonels here. We've got Thompson, Vandermeer, Shao, Lawson, Olsen, Thompson, Forsyth, and Dahl. Dahl is really just the, as a stasis user, just to buy us some time on particularly high value, dangerous targets. p -flex, I've had to give him the dragon, uh, the, uh, the tracer around to so incre increase his aim. I haven't got a scope for his gun or aim for him. Turn that music down a little bit, that's a bit loud. In the last video, my audio levels were a bit messed up, and I'm still struggling with that a little bit. Let's get the master volume down a bit, music down a little bit. And there's a lot of mechanical units that we've detected with a shadow chamber, so I've made sure to take along 
two blue screen rounds. I was tempted to give Jack blue screen rounds, but he needs to be shooting at the biological entities. Uh, I could, if I had extra armor piercing rounds, I'd give it to him. The armor piercing rounds, of course, need to go onto our gunslinger because she's shooting with a pistol. The armor completely screws her over. The ranger always takes talon rounds because you want that shotgun to be critting. And yeah, pretty standard otherwise. Last time I didn't get to use my mines, I'm going to try to use them this time. I think this is going to be a save civilians mission. If it's a defend against an assault, if it's defending against waves, then these mines are going to be great. We'll see how good they are. I think in season 2, these mines are going to be useful, especially if they are affected by heavy ordnance. If we can get two sets of mines, and we're in a defense uh, situation, and we aggro the entire map, we're going to need those mines, I think. I'm really looking forward to what Season 2 is going to bring, but uh, I must just focus now on this campaign and not make any mistakes. We're talking as though we're done and we're nowhere near done. I mean, in terms of progress we are, but in terms of making sure we actually finish the missions, we're nowhere near done. Now that we've got the aliens' attention, they're taking it out on one of the resistance outposts in the area. We're heading in to secure the camp and protect as many civilians as we can. Eliminate all hostile forces attacking the site. Make them regret coming after the resistance. In terms of the, the, the world map, uh, we just and, and our tech, we're just going to finish cracking the one data cache, which will give us enough intel to make contact with the second half of South America, which will give us instant um, proving ground ammo and grenade uh, builds. Then we'll just start going hard at the story missions in the Shadow Chamber and finish the campaign pretty much as soon as we can. I really don't want this to drag out, just grinding missions. Which, if anyone played Enemy Within on the Longmore mod, you'll know all about grinding in the late game. Menace 1 5. Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and protect those civilians. Advent came in hot, and so did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. Yeah, so, this is a siege. Whoa! And I think the pretty obvious fighting position is here and these bits of our cover and then we'll just explode the hell out of everything here where are we going to put everybody I don't quite know we might have to sort of the first question is can anyone see that yeah so Olsen can with her sniper rifle is anybody in visual range of that thing first things first is to take our rogue and scout that thing because we are unquestionably going to be fighting against it on the next turn. Position confirmed. We can't even move anybody forward. Holy hell, that's a big scary pod. The recon. They. Are, I'm pretty much confident that these guys are going to walk straight at us and, and uh, aggro us on the next turn. Now, you'll notice that. Oh, this is so lucky. I gave Jack the sniper's friend pistol, which gives him an extra blue move, and he hasn't had to move, he's straight into high cover. He's going to go straight into overwatch with established defenses. He's going to gain plus one overwatch shot and plus one armor for each action point. He'll get plus three armor, plus three overwatch, plus the base, so it's at least four armor and four overwatch shots. Moving to overwatch. We had five armor. Amazing. Now, moving everyone forward here is going to be a real challenge. Above all else, we don't want to aggro these guys. But I think this line here is going to be more than enough. We're going to have to move people up, though. So, who needs to not move? Doesn't really matter. Let's just keep our side trooper where she's safe. He is safe. Holy hell. Danger close. And we've been... Ugh. Yeah, that was very unlucky. Overwatch. Okay, we're just going to have to overwatch the hell out of everything here, really. Also, are you in cover? You're not. You're standing out in the open. Whatever you say. Come get some. Shakes. I... Let's move it. Thompson. God, this is so scary. Don't aggro anybody. You got my position. The good news is those lids are going to be running into a hailstorm of fire. Affirmative, covering now. Reflex. 
is crucial. He, I think I'm happy to put him there because he should be able to lob a grenade over there on the next turn. Whatever you say. These lids are in attack range. Can't get some. Oh sweet, this is a, uh, a random reinforcement. Okay, random here. Let's put you back here, I think. So we'll put Freeman. Whatever you say. The the rookies are going to be closest to the uh, the lids. Oh come on, Jack! Eighty-five miss. That's it. How did it straight die to a? That first shot must have counted as a miss or something. I don't know. Or just didn't animate the second shot that Duncan took. That uh, Jack took, I mean. Commander, that was a one shot. Just got worse. Resistance outposts are reporting enemy transports on the move across this region. They're getting ready for an all out assault. Okay, now. <sighs> Shit. These guys didn't move. That's not ideal. What we'll do is we'll get their attention with Olsen here. This is going to aggro this pod. So then we will preemptively put. Jack, okay, okay, we're gonna have to save, do the old classic save and reload thing. Jack has shot himself out of cover. Hopefully the uh, the creator of the infantry mod will be able to fix that at some point. If it's up to the mod creator. Jack, yeah, you ready? You flare. So, uh, tempted to preemptively flare on the assumption that uh, that's a reload. I need to use one of his moves. Good. Now we watch. The only question is, how do we get the most out of our? But you know, we're going to get their attention with the rocket because that's going to shred their armor, shred that armor there. Oh no, hang on. P flex will do it. He can get the rocket there. Afterwards, we can still grapple up here. She can shoot at everybody. He flex is carrying an acid grenade. If he can get the acid grenade there, which he can't. You know, so we will open up with our rogue. Freeman's going to want to move. Spectre will... Yeah, she can just do it now, honestly. Proximity mine. Yeah. Does it end the turn? Does. We, we can't wait because if we wait another turn, there's going to be reinforcements dropped in our heads. I only want to. I only want Jack to be overwatching. We know there's a third mute on there. This is all about hitting all four of that pod. With pleasure. Yeah, boy. As I say, I would have preferred P Flex to get their attention because he's honest. got uh, on the grenade launcher extra armor shredding. Oh yeah, look at it. So all Jack's overwatches are actually now wasted on this bloody guardian. Hit the armor. I mean, we're just going to stasis this bugger anyway. Clean up the mutons. Look at that, one point left, holy hell. Red suit panic. That looks like... Oh, that's going to get the attention of another pod. Okay, that didn't, that didn't work that way, thank goodness. So grapple up here. Throw in the hook. That should put it in range of everything. You know what? We can actually kill this this guardian. The lightning hands, 100%, 92, 85. Yeah, so she's gonna lightning hands, shoot, and then face off. Armor, she's gonna go straight through the armor, doing four to seven. And I think that there's a repeater on that pistol as well. There's a small chance we'll be executed. Yeah, nice armor, nice armor, bro. Okay, face off. Oh. Good hit. And a good hit. Critical as well. Impressed yet? The only question is, is that second mutant panicking? He's not. He will be active. 
That shouldn't be an issue. We can probably run up there and throw a uh, X at him. Lex, you get up. And I think that's worth doing for the height bonus. Because he doesn't have terribly high aim value. And she can finish that off. He can finish. I think that's probably his shot. Who else can we get up there? Inspire, Insanity, and Stasis. Worth bearing in mind that she can use Stasis to sleep whatever we don't finish here. Thompson, I want you to get that mute on. He has a stock, yes. He can just shoot straight through that high cover. But we first need to make sure that the mute on the back dies. So p -flex needs to do that. Good hit, mate. Good. And then that gets finished off with the stock. Hit anyway. And then we can just finish off with this. And keep it, no problem. We don't even have to uh, load save Jack out of cover because he'll just move on the next turn anyway. That's a kill. Sure is a kill. Let's do this. I actually want to move up onto this high ground. With some of our, yeah, what's well, one, two, three. I think let's move forward a little bit because if we move forward to take these positions here, yes, I think these two here need to be our positions. We'll have reinforcements popping around us, but we'll have height advantage and height advantage down there as well. We can blow up those, those structures there. Seems doable. We're very nicely situated here. Overwatch. On Overwatch. As we've learned, of course, on these oh, defense geez. missions, can be swarmed quite easily, sir. More of them coming in. It's not too bad. Only question is, do we have reliable high cover here? Who's got our scanner? I want to know whether I can Icarus armor jump there without aggroing a pod here. So to that end, we'll move Doll. I want to use that position now. The doll up here. Tired of waiting around. You can shoot in the next turn. The main thing is to know whether it's safe to take the high cover forward there. No, it's not. We know whether that we'll know whether that's safe or not by zooming out and seeing whether that doesn't give a visual cue. Okay, so it's safe for him to go there. This is safe as well. And this is another pod there. But I'm prepared to take that chance. Let's go. Let's move up on these tangos. Mistakes were made. And we can't put that sector pod into stasis now. Because we already used our tie up. Hmm. Main thing is can P Flex get acid onto that? We're gonna have to kill it because we can't put it to sleep. Whatever uh, you say. actually going to be in half cover. The danger is that this next pot on the right there falls into us. And we hit both of these guys with acid. We cannot. But this should shred three from the acid grenade plus two from the extra uh, grenade augmentations. That should be five Catch. armor shred. Unless they don't have Bitsy. Four regular armor shred. Okay, so it's not. It doesn't accumulate. Unfortunate. Still. Icarus jump into high cover. Wait. Do you have vision on the sector pod from there? You do. I'm not too worried about those uh, infantry. Come on, it said you had vision! Well, from there, but now that's getting super dangerous for that other pod. <sighs> Holding my breath. And we could just shoot 15 to 17, reliable damage. We rupture it, which is going to give everyone else shooting at it more damage as well. And I think that that's the play. We can't mess around on the sector pod. 20 damage, hell yeah. That 
six apart is reeling. Okay, so Jack, where do we put you that you can be effective? Almost nowhere, to be honest. How can I not have vision of the six pot from there, really? We'll try to put him in that half cover there. There. I guess that'll be okay. No. Put him in this half cover and overwatch him. Got vision of that and that. Or okay, flare first, yes, definitely. You can hit anyone with flare. Damn it. We could rocket launch. Well, what are we dealing with here? A breacher, so he's gonna shoot a shotgun. Oh, they have a lot of armor though. I think we should can't grapple, so she should just shoot with her sniper rifle. Eleven to thirteen reliable damage. Uh, eight left. What that? We definitely want to use aid protocol. If I think Jack, Overwatch, daggering shot, escape and evade, rocket launcher. Yes, I think the move here is to blow up his cover there, and if we can do some damage to the. Bringing the pain. That's going to make the breacher out of cover. If your cover, bro. I put a call onto Jack. Give them, I believe, just one overwatch shot. He doesn't have Guardian. Thompson has Guardian. But we need him to shoot here, honestly. Hang on, is Thompson is flanked. Out in the open. Okay, that's a miscalculation. I can only see this guy. I'm happy to leave him where he is. If we're confident we can kill those two guys. With other with other overwatch shots. Lead shield bearer. Hmm. Let's just throw the axe and kill this thing. That shield launcher. No, shit just needs to die right now. I'm expecting that other pot on the right to pull into us in the next enemy turn. It's disappointing how many resources we had to put towards. Uh, destroying that. Okay, so here's the play. We run and gun here and shoot. Do we though? Because that's almost guaranteed to aggro in another pod. On the basis that this guy is going to move to that structure there. Cover. Hmm. Super risky. I can handle that. Freeman has very little chance to actually hit that guy. 56, you know, base aim of 65, minus 10 defense. Can you hit it with a grenade? No, you might as well take the shot. We don't have a rogue. We do have this rogue, but she doesn't have... Uh, what's it called again? Holo targeting. Uh, if Shakes was standing there or there, I could have put Chow there and turned herself into a, a high cover element, but I don't think that's worth it, to be honest. Who else can get up here? In a blue move, no one. Just put ro our rogue there, shall. She should be able to finish. Okay, she can't see anybody. No proximity mine, not really going to help. Actually, yes, let's put it there because I, I assume that this guy is going to take either that those two cover position. Is there any way we can get them both red? I think he'll take that one. Oh, they throw it. Interesting. So now that, that's not a reliable position for them. We rocket. Yes, because we want him to run towards us. Well, we don't want him to... He's a, he's a shield lancer, so we want the AI to, 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 to move him. Because if he doesn't have to move, he'll just drop his shield. Freeman, take the shot, because Overwatch will be even less accurate. Miss. That's shot typical. Thompson, do I want to take that 95%? On the basis that he's still got full armor? No. But we'll just chuck Thompson into Hoff. 
off cover. Admin forces on the ground. Dead. That's gonna be a grenade target though, and they're all gonna stack up here. Oh, one shot! Check it before you get too close. This guy's gonna run into a flanking position though. Oh, Christ, here we go. Kill them all, noble. At least we have stasis available on the next turn, so. Our blue screen troopers are gonna have to do work here though. Flanking my position! Oh, God. Run through the acid, come on. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, so close. Our number one target is this guy when he drops his shield. I don't know how we're going to kill him there. Look at this, he's shielding all of these pukes. Where are you going, friend? A lot of enemies. That was that guy, shielding from there. Oh, the mine didn't go off! Oh, it did. Whew. Good, so he is still... He's burning and... He's flanked. Oh, but he's shielded as well, that a-hole. What? And another... Oh god, this is bad. Yeah, moving up was a mistake. Worst thing about this is that Jack can't take all three of his Overwatch shots because he's, he's in a flank position. But we'll just switch these two around though. Okay, so what have you got? Grand Finale. Release your built up focus, dealing one point of bonus flanking damage per unit. Single shot. He got cheap shot. Now he's got a recon though. So I think we should recon this group here. The Chrysalis are the number one uh, objective. We're just going to have to shoot through the shields, I'm afraid, because we can't. Kill these guys. Okay, P Flex, we need a big grenade out of you. Enemy is out of ammo. But I suspect we're gonna pistol shot and mimic beacon with her. Aggressive tactics. Increase targets aim by five, damage by plus three, and find a great boost of mobility for one turn. And defense penalty. Anyway, can you see any of the breaches? The mix, I mean. Yes. Shit, we need those blue screen rounds. Uh, she's gonna have to, I think, pistol shot at someone and then mimic beacon. We're in trouble, friends. Okay. Deflex. Grenade. This is for you! That'll hopefully shred armor and get rid of those shields. Now on the plus side, uh, our assault trooper who has blade storm is closest to these six. Uh, they called again chrysalids, so they are most likely to come here and attack him. Or if they run past him here, they'll get slashed. Now we could rage strike, but no, we need him to stay where he is, and we need him to take shotgun shots, 89, 80 shots, sectoid, sectoid. Excellent. Psyop. 11-13. Guaranteed crit. Take him down. Oh my god, and it's a dodge! Put it down. Uh, fire pistol at one of the heavy mechs. Critical with blue screen, awesome. Mimic beacon onto our flank here. Still got another breach here that we can't see. Hey Jack, you need to take this half cover. And no, you'll take that cover and overwatch. He'll, he will then have overwatch shots on these three guys. So that means... Shall needs to go to an offensive position there. No I think we need to shoot this crystal behind us here. 
would be quite nice to gun out these guys though. But no, that crystal needs to die. Fire concussive blast your pistol for a chance to stun. What, what is the stun chance on this thing though? Regular shot is 94, 7 to 9. I think it's probably safer to try and kill it. He doesn't get grand finale extra damage because it's not technically a flank because it's out in the open. 94% chance to do 7 to 9. Need 5 more damage with that. If we can do. There we go. Grenade? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'm less worried about this guy. More worried about that chrysalid. Whatever you say. And this is just a, uh, a recruit anyway. Sucks to be him. I don't want to destroy that tree unless I have to. But it looks like I have to. We grenade first, of course, because we want to get rid of that armor, which will let the scout do more damage. Unfortunately, our gunslinger doesn't have her abilities of cooldown, does she? And if she had face-off available now, she could have shot at all of these units. <laughs> Would have been amazing. Looks like she's going to get one sniper shot. 8 to 10. 8 to 10. Or 8 to 10. But it pierces armor, so who's got the most armor that she can shoot at? Probably this heavy mech. I think that, that's the shot there. Not going to crit, but it'll put the mech within one hit point. Less. Shoot it. Who's got the most hit points out of that that group there? 12. Chrysalids are each going to take one shot from Jack and then probably a slash from Duncan. So I think on that basis we will put it on the Elite Psyop. And we'll back the Mimic Beacon. Oh, and it crits. Awesome. That was lucky. That was only like a 13% chance of crit. Well, how about that? I didn't pistol there because then she couldn't pistol and then sniper rifle. Next, gonna go here. What's over there? But there's a lot of enemies around. Who and what can you flare? Nothing really. Just Overwatch. Got it that sucks that. Hang on, why is it not giving him vision on these three? When Sha was there, she had vision. Well, hopefully they'll still run into Overwatch. If it doesn't, we've got problems. We're going to use Tripwire Protocol, though, because it can... Yes, yes, here we go. We use Tripwire Mobility Bomb 4. I just want to see if I can put one of these facilities into range where it can't actually hit someone. I think we'll use that one at the back. Tripwire that one. Shouldn't end his turn. And he can still shoot at that Breacher who's flanked. Or well, Overwatch, rather. Uh, he has Guardian, so... Oh, it ended his turn. Oh, piss. Okay. Lesson learned. Damn it. You probably stasis someone. 12 to 14. Excellent. Was it more? Who cares? Just kill. Don't miss. What did you expect? There's still one more lit around here though. Most likely it'll hit Shao, but she's got 16 hit points and two armor, so that's fine. Let's move already. Holy shit. We'll put that breacher into stasis, I think. We could cast insanity, 75% on that chrysalid, but we don't know what it'll do. Or we could inspire bonus action immediately to a squad mate. If, if Vandermeer had been reloaded, I would have given it to her. Because then she could have used her rifle to shoot that thing and finish it off. But no! Uh, so we stasis that breacher. This one's the worst case scenario now is this breacher moves forward and rockets a bunch of our... Parts of our troops cover. But I'm betting that this uh, Moog Beacon is going to take that breacher's attention. Still got chrysalid problems, but I don't think they're going to kill anyone straight up. Also, 
the, prob the concern is that this this guy is going to use explode ordnance on one of our troops. You're good. It was fooled. If we're lucky, yeah, this guy's just going to stab it, I think, or shoot at it. We survive. Nope. Fair enough. So that the one crystal here is going to get a shot, most likely. Acid hit the acid. Excellent acid. I don't know if the armor shred was a... No, it wasn't. The armor shred from the acid wasn't applied before the shot to calculate it. Yeah, boy. We're going to be taking some damage here, though. He ran into the fire. He should be on fire. Woo! That was lucky. 50%. That was quite fortunate, actually. Oh! Nine damage. Good God. Oh, Graze. No! Nine damage. Is that enough? Blade Master? Blade Storm? Just not. Is that a miss? Why doesn't he Blade Storm? What the hell? No, only after the hit. That one bugged off. That that didn't do any damage. Bugged out. What is this salt gonna do though? Is the big question. Because explode ordnance here, that's gonna be disastrous. It's gonna hugely damage and hurt the of our troops here. The fact that the, the computer's thinking so much worries me. Oh, so that crystal does die. By the looks of things. It's the order in which all the damage is being calculated is a bit screwed up. But none of these three have taken damage yet, so... In your own time, XCOM 2. Don't cast ordnance! Okay, phew, that, that's not that bad at all. They've got friends. Okay, uh, reload. We need Vandermeer now to start hitting. Not I think she, she can finish off that breacher probably with a blue screen round. Where does she shoot? She's in high cover, which is not great. I think we can bet on killing that guy with other troopers, so that should be a safe spot. My priority now are these breaches because of their explosives. We still got to kill these two dissidents, uh, but I expect Jack to take care of them. We just force them to move, and Jack will take care of them. Uh, first things first, we need to save and reload because he's out of cover. Save on the auto save. Load. Yeah, I've learned a lot this campaign, especially about managing mods. This sort of thing will hopefully not be an issue in, in, uh, in Season 2. Being that it'll freeze the update process. Gotta be careful though. This mission is teetering though. If we don't have another good, two good rounds here, we're in real trouble. A check reload. Oh yeah. I think they. You know, why can't we see that guy now? Never mind. Okay, flare these two a holes after Duncan has moved. I think now's the time to rage strike because it's a free action, and it will destroy cover. That won't. Right cover. Want to, yeah, raid strike this guy because it'll put me into high cover. Only five uh, hit points left, so I think I should actually probably shotgun. What's the yeah, crit chance? Is it nice and big? That Lancer can be killed by someone else. Hopefully, this kills him. Did crit, but only did 9 damage. If we want to be cheeky, we can assume that this guy is going to move, and as soon as he moves, it'll trigger Blade Storm. You know what? I think we're going to have to take that chance. Yeah, hang on. So from there, we can only see this Breacher. Yes, and that's enough for Vandermeer to kill. From there, she can see both Breachers. Yes, that's where we will Icarus jump to. 
If vision screws us here, we got a problem. Good, it doesn't screw us. Uh, it's not showing still in stasis. Wait, which of these two has more hit points? That one, so we'll shoot at that one. One at the back. 11 plus 3 is 14. Good, she'll do enough damage there. Please tell me... Oh, one turn away from being off cooldown. I think I need to use Olsen to snap a rifle, finish off that breacher at the back. I can't see it, though. Finish this guy on this one. This guy's ble uh, he's burning. That's 1 to 3 guaranteed damage. 8 to 10 seems like kind of a waste, to be honest. But she doesn't have great shots on these guys. These guys will be shot with explosives and whatnot. 9 to 3. Okay, 9. That should be enough, together with... Oh, but never mind. Duncan, we moved him away, isn't he? Like, yeah, that's right. That that's fine. Jack will overwatch that guy and whoever else moves. Jake's needs to move. If he uses restoration, who will it heal? Only Vandermeer and himself. He can't... You know what, I'm just going to put him straight into, into overwatch because that'll give him at least one, potentially two. Overwatch shots, so he'll just grim and heal himself, which we know won't end his turn. And then overwatch him. him he can overwatch at least once and a 50% chance of taking a second yeah, overwatch shot. Reflex, we need you to grenade something. That Star Trooper worries me. I'm going. I don't know how we're gonna kill that Star Trooper though. It'll at least Blowing up his cover would at least force him to move. Firefly, who can you shoot? That'll need to be 13 damage, so we can't do that. Oh yes, we use Inspire on Vandermeer. If she has another shot, yes, because then she can just finish off the second breacher. I can't see the second breacher. No, the second mech, I mean. Hmm. Duncan can do it. Together we are strong. Obviously, I could have just shot with uh, Doll onto the breacher, but he wouldn't be have enough damage to kill the breacher if Duncan gets a crit. Uh, plus, if it crits, it should do. Then it'll do enough damage through the armor. Great job. Still got a Psyop in the back. Keep it up, noble. Freeman, you're pretty much rubbish. So Spectre, what can you do? Uh, we definitely need to get our trooper here into a height advantage, because uh, our rookie into height advantage, because otherwise he's not going to hit anything. We'll put him there, and then blue move there on the next turn. I'm going. Very unlikely to hit here. Five damage. If it does, at least then it frees up an overwatch shot from Jack. Great job, rookie. Great job. Well deserved promotion. The question now is what do we do with do with uh, Xiao? I'm confident that this guy is gonna move and get hit by by Duncan's uh, what's it, Blade Master. Can I move Sha into a position where she can shoot at that uh, trooper? Not without being out of cover, so the answer is effectively no. We'll just put her there Absolutely. and overwatch. And hopefully uh, the Sa trooper eats the overwatch shot. God, it's a lot of side troopers, a lot of breaches. That's unlucky. Come on, Guardian. Right hit. These breaches on the left are a problem, though. Okay, that's unlucky. I was hoping that that wasn't going to happen. Get. 
Got the rookie and missed, thank goodness. This guy's a problem though, he's very close and he's shooting with a shotgun. We go Overwatch. Oh, just not enough to kill though. Another Overwatch. Oh, thank God. I definitely got that one. There's no Overwatch for this Sar Trooper though. Don't use Explode Ordnance, you bastard. Mind Control is fine, we can regain whoever he Mind Controls, if it even works. Nobody panic, we're good. 12 damage. Oh, oh, oh god, phew. The game was freezing there for a second. So, where is their high cover? I think we're gonna slash this guy. 8 to 10. No, that's not enough. Although, it's really our best bet, I think. Yeah. And then maybe someone who has a stock can finish off the Psyop. So 10 damage was done. We need to do how much more damage? 2. But there's armor. We can't, we can't bet on the burn killing him because that'll give an extra turn. Okay, so Thompson... I think he, this is the time he uses Restoration and then shoots. No, he has Aid Protocol, so we'll use Aid Protocol. Firefly, Insanity, 70% chance, 54% chance. What are your shooting chances? 100%, we don't want to shoot you. Shield Bearer, 61%. The Insanity chance is higher than the shooting chance, so try it. Just see what it does. Hopefully Mind Control. Disoriented, okay. Uh, Fincham, you are just gonna probably just use your pistol to finish off that guy. I guess we can put no yeah, Spectre can finish can finish him off here. Oh no, that's a different one. Okay. 79 damage. Grand finale does way more damage. On the Psyop. That's weird, so how come Grand Finale Deflex? Whereas if you shoot, you can shoot. There. Okay, never mind. Just just finish off the Psyop. That's right. Get Pflex back. I'm tempted to actually use Pflex to explode that cover there. Shows these guys as being in cover. Brian? Out of grenades already? What? Can he move into flanking positions? Potentially. There he can, yes. I think we need to kill these two first, and that's moving us a bit too far forward. Okay! That's a flank, so we'll take that, I'm pretty damn sure. I'm pretty confident that we're not going to be running into more pods because we've, we've aggroed just about everything already. Shield bearer or sty up? I think the shield bearer. The Jack needs to move up, to be honest. We'll put him there and we'll overwatch him. Okay, I'll go. We'll flare sty up because we want to kill him. Watch. Apex. She gets a free reload, thank goodness. Now, who's in pistol range? Ready to rock. This guy and this guy. So if we clear up both of their bits of cover, she'll be able to do the finish them off with shooting. Uh, who are our explosive options? We don't really have many. Okay, we don't have any explosive options, that's fair enough. Apex is going to use Overwatch here on Vandermeer. Going to shoot... Actually, I think I, 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 I prefer to kill the Psyop. We saw how irritating it was on the last turn. The shell shoot and then get put into... Oof, great hit. We'll put her into Overwatch with Shakes. A protocol. And Thompson will go back into Overwatch. He's got Guardian. 
A P flex can take up. Not exactly a flanking position, it's too risky. We can't guarantee we'll kill this guy. That's fine though. Why well, is only 42? Okay, it shows him as in high cover. That's not animating it, but the, the, it shows it as cover being there. I think that's a bug that we got off the reloading, because we clearly destroyed that cover. But hey, we can either fire pistol twice. Or this pistol shoot. Actually, can't. They're all just in upper range. So go ahead and finish this guy off 75%. Oh, I could have grappled. Ah, mistake. We end up not paying for it, really. You know that was good. Friedman, move up. No problem, boss. Uh, oh, crikey. These guys are flanked. What am I doing? Not good. To Overwatch. Okay, that makes killing these guys here more of a priority. I'm going to suppress this guy in case he just shoots. I think he'll move because he is flanked, and that'll give P-Flex a uh, improved accuracy shot, a reaction shot from the suppression. Good, he just overwatched, that's great. Oh, good god, Vandermeer. Badass. Enemies moving on our position. That's far enough back that we can actually draw a battle line where it won't be in vision of those reinforcements. So we can just keep moving towards it. I think, you know what, let's keep moving towards it. We've got enough troops out here that we can put real pressure on that pod. Definitely want to get Jack towards that pod though. You're gonna need him on the next turn. This guy can be finished off by... I've had enough of this. Actually, do we need to... We don't need to blow up his cover, we don't. We have anyone who doesn't trigger Overwatch? No. Good to go. Sure thing. Just moving as many troops as I can yet. Uh, get an extra Overwatch there. Covering now. No, Thompson doesn't. But he doesn't have a shot. Reflex doesn't. Doll doesn't. Freeman. Yeah, so we just got to shoot this guy, I think. <laughs> I got it, right? Better work, Jack. You can then still... I want to say... Let's put him here. I guess that'll be okay. You can still overwatch one. Overwatch. Same with Thompson. On your order. I can just reload and then overwatch. You'll get one low accuracy shotgun He's shot, but then right, he'll move up and shoot again in the next turn. Lex, you don't want to move up say. anyway, so move up and overwatch. Moving to overwatch. Same thing with Firefly. Finally. Got it covered. Freeman. I don't expect much out of her. No. Where are our additional re reinforcements? I would have expected a few more rookie reinforcements on there. Unless that, that is unless Whatever it scales so that you get less reinforcements later in the game when you're that powerful. Which kinda of makes sense. Bad miss. Another bad miss. Another bad miss. Come on guys. Did we hit something? Hopefully they group up or we can throw explosives. Yes, P-Flex! Okay. Big explosives check. Anybody got a rocket? Uh, no! No rockets. No grenades. Wow, have we used six grenades, six explosives already? I must have. Nice la. Can we... No, we cannot. We'll just take his two overwatch shots. We know he'll never kill that guy. I'm on it. Then we can motivate this guy to run. Ha! We have piercing barrels. This could be the perfect time to use it. 
Get a pistol shot first though. I don't think it's going to matter in the end. Inefficiency. I'd like to go out the back, I think, because she'll armor pierce. So, 15 damage, 50% chance to kill effectively. I don't want that guy to drop his shields. Get wrecked. Impressed yet? And armor piercing snipers are just the business. On the move. Thompson will overwatch. Got Guardian. Overwatch. A diggity. Move forward and shotgun this guy. Confirm. This should be a big crit. <laughs> and it is. 17. Nice. Police these bodies. The highest crit I ever got from a uh, assault trooper was I think 27. But that was because I managed to I got quite lucky with the Grimey's loot mod and I got a uh, shotgun with the heavy frames for I think it, it had plus 70 percent superior heavy frames, a plus 70 percent damage, and it had uh, some sort of magazine that gave extra crit damage. So it crit a lot and it crit hard. Great. Good. Sit down. Multiple hostiles advancing on our position. Not a problem at all. We just reload and overwatch everybody. It's killing time. Confirmed. I can get nice and close. I'm ready. We make our stand here. Bend by. Scanning. Jack's gonna have three Overwatch shots anyway, so. Affirmative. Covering now. On Overwatch. I think when we get back to base, we'll start retraining some of our specialists Rock as hackers, and we'll build some of those red screen rounds. See if it's worth doing. Back online. I don't see these guys surviving this Overwatch round. Wrecked. Well, how about that? Jack's second shot. Uh, the mech's not going to move though, so it won't trigger Overwatch. Too close to the heat. You're fine. Pincham can do the business though. Blue screen rounds. I know there's blue screen rounds on someone else, but I forget who, honestly. Alrighty. Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. Reload. It's killing time. Ooh, things got a bit dicey there for, for a moment, but uh, I'm on it. Scanning. I mean that's the beauty of the late game. We have so many resources available to us. Have we killed all the static pods yet? Surprise if we have. But we're not necessarily gonna be able to get everybody in range. Overwatch. I'm going. I think we just got to sprint a bunch of us back just so that on the next turn we can uh, clean up whatever survives. From there, Jack should okay, get good I'll reaction go. shots, so that's fine. Oh, yeah, no worries. I'm on it. Same thing for Thompson from there. Moving to position. Well, between Thompson and Lawson, they'll clean up that entire pod. I can, can just sprint. Confirm. As can P flex. Location confirmed. And doll. Getting it done. And Shao. Actually, Shao can start scouting for us on the rest of the map. In the shadows. Just to make sure that we don't have another pod that uh, surprises now. us. Mm. 
Oh, you yeah, know, they're all gonna run and they're all gonna die. God, Lawson, you're amazing. That's his second shot. Bad miss. Back's third shot. But he doesn't get another shot at that other guy. That's no problem. We can clean him up with pretty much no problems. In your own time, XCOM. Ah, oh, come on! What are you waiting for, you idiot? In the turn! Okay, yeah. Alright. Can he grapple into a flanking position? He sure can. Grappling. She can. And she's got armor piercing around, so she'll just single handedly finish this puke off. Hey, bro, nice cover. Oh my god, was that a one shot executed from the repeater? Alrighty, everybody just reload and overwatch. I think we should we should be able to leave on the next turn. Unless our uh, scout finds another pod. Frankly, is unlikely. Anything? No? On these sieges, I know all the pods just, to, to just wander towards us anyway, so I'm pretty sure that's it. Nope, oh, more reinforcements. Another reinforcement that won't be a problem. Man, I keep, I keep saying it, but I really oh, I so badly want a, a UFO to come shoot at the Avenger. I'm so desperate to see what those uh, defense matrix turrets do for us. I didn't move uh, uh, Medic there because he's got Guardian. I want to use both of his moves to try and proc Guardian. Check in. You climb up there and height advantage. Nice start. Whatever you say. You can keep scouting, Chow. At the end of the map, yeah, that's the end of the map. That's that's it. Overwatch. Hmm. How do you miss that? That's point blank, 75%. Oh god, Jack. Yeah, P Flex. Oh. You want some more? Is it? Can we extract? Can. Just need to make sure that Shao can get out. Let's sprint her back. Roger that. What is the furthest that our furthest back? Cooper can sprint to uh, that square there. So I think we will call the ranger on those squares. Kennedy back in here. Honestly, I'm not even uh, interested in hanging around. On it. On Oops, order. that's a mistake. That's in the fire. I'm burning up here. <laughs> Go on, put yourself out then, I suppose. But I assume heal puts fire out. Pretty sure it does. Gremlin, get on the hills. Go. Now that changes things. Now we got to fight that pod. Keep clear. Still, not going to be too difficult. Jack. What's over there? Overwatch. Over what you me do? You need to get out now. Hey, Olsen. Packing it in. Duncan. Roger. We'll keep him there. Whatever you say. This doll, our star trooper. We'll do. We'll stay as well. 
No problem, boss. Beat oh, fire shots. Uh, do nothing, Overwatch. Overwatch. Do nothing. Digging in. Admin forces on the ground. Oh, no Overwatch shots. Thing. There we go. 14 damage. God, you gotta love blue screen armor. Ugh, ammo. Pretty sure everyone can get out there. Victor can't, but she can do it on the, on the turn after. Location confirmed. She's still invisible, so they can't see her anywhere. Uh, Jack can sprint there on the next turn, so that's fine. I got it, Ray. Come get some. Sure did. Shakes, who can you see? Just we'll just keep pulling back and overwatching. On the move. That's just good XP, I suppose. Overwatch. Although a bunch of our troopers are already colonels, so they're not really gonna benefit from the XP. Let's stay focused. Oh, that'll be in vision. Lost. And it's a psyop, so we can't have that. Doll. Don't inspire. Just Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Honestly, I could have just uh, put Charlie into Overwatch as well, but hey, it doesn't matter. Watch already. We know that will be in vision, so you can't take that to cover. This is I'm fine. Come get some. Okay, you need to move though, Vandermeer, because you're in vision. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. Na los, zeigt euch. Yeah, we can definitely, we definitely extract on the next turn. Oh, what? How is that on Overwatch? Three damage, not a problem. Oh crap, he's down to four hit points. Great damage. On target. target neutralized. That was 14, not four. Good god. Get a little toasty here! Dead me. Okay, get out of it. That's it for now. Pause it, Chief. I think we've slaughtered enough of these guys, what do you think? And now. Let's go home. Seems doable. Beers and the Avengers, chaps. Move, move, move. Ten four. Freeman is our new recruit. Got it. Moving. Is that it? Ready to boogie. Good job, team. Surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Mission parameters completed. Well, hang on. The objective was exterminate all. So I think I would have got more bonuses if I just killed that last guy. We'll see how many uh, corpses we get. If we get zero corpses, that means I should have killed that last guy. I never really thought about that because on these Haven missions, they're normally so difficult. Good mission, guys. I think we only took two wounds. And that's two light wounds. So not too bad. On the next episode, I think we'll hit that other black site with a fairly rookie-heavy team. Because it'll just be a difficult mission, not a very difficult. We've got good gear. And good items. I'm confident they can do that. After that, we'll make the push to the Shadow Chamber missions. Progress the story along. Nice shot percentages, we hit generally pretty damn good. And two per turn is a lot. Jack Lawson, 160 damage. Yeah, buddy. On the next mission, if we don't take a gunslinger, I think we'll experiment giving Jack the armor piercing rounds to see if he can do more damage.
We've also got a few experimental ammos coming out of the proving ground soon. If we can get a second set of armor piercing ammo, that'll be great. I don't know if it's going to be worth building more Icarus armor. I mean, it'll be great, but I think it'll be too strong, to be honest. We put Icarus armor on our infantry, that'll be awesome, because in twice a, twice a mission he can, uh, he can move himself, relocate without having to use an action point. Bravely wounded, oh well. Wow. The sharpshooters, steady hands. If you do not move last turn, gain aim and crit. Hunker down confers 20 aim on the first shot. That's rubbish. It will take steady hands. I mean, when is a freaking sniper ever going to be hunkering down? I mean, unless as a gunslinger, and that answers the 12 psyops. What the hell? Hello, commander. Plus 34 supplies monthly. Nice lot. Probably a few more promotions to go around. Oh, we've got Okamoto and Reynolds. I guess they're going to go in the Scilab once the other two are uh, fully Psy trained. What do we got here? An infantry. Sweet. So, specialists. Who has the highest hacking value? Probably Thompson. 170 base hack. 60. 80. Davies is 80, sorry, whoops. Smith has 70, okay. I think once once Thompson's out of med bay, he can go to the Advanced Warfare Center to be retrained. We can't put him in here while he's hurt, I don't think. No. Alrighty, so how long till that data cache is done? Five days. Maybe we finish making contact in South America here. Yeah? We've got some intel, but it's not worth spending five days on. Let's finish making contact. So this is a great ability. Look at that. All ammo, grenade, and weapon grounds are completed instantly. South America, so. Buenas noches, senor. Edita. Greeting you loud and clear. New yeah, boy. regional contacts located. Oh, South Africa. Go to my homeland soon. That's gonna take 160. We may as well build a relay because we're gonna need a relay to jump across there anyway. 325. Totally fine. Supplies are in no way a problem. Results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Hello, Commander. Any research, wrong box, autopsy, reliquary. Here we go. I now we upgrading, or unlocking the super high tier. I'll have a report assembled kit. as soon as the research is complete. If we get super unlucky, it'll be an SMG, and then that SMG won't get upgraded hey, to plasma tier once we build the scram gun. But I don't foresee that to be an issue. We need one more gatekeeper shell to, to build that, and then we need 20 more Ethereum crystals. Should be close to the end of the month, we can go back to the black market and spend some intel. Get more Ethereum. Fly drop in six days. Talon rounds, that's not what you wanted. We've got three Talon rounds now. Boy drift, awesome. Sustain. Uh, Swat guaranteed damage applies a rupture. Hell yeah. Okay, that that's worth taking because then remember that insanity costs rupture. Ooh, girl up. What do we got here? Uh, another engineer which we don't need. Supplies we don't need. Scientist, I suppose. Get 
incendiary rounds. All my piercing rounds. That actually sucks. Advent units. I could put this in. But that's only the soldiers, and the soldiers aren't going to be shooting us very often. This is additional stun lances. I'm not particularly concerned about any of the. Uh, uh, any of the dark events. Although, we don't have a particularly high level squad available because we've just used all our best, so maybe we take the one that's just difficult as opposed to very difficult. 12 units, 15 units, Uton Prime, Breacher, Elite Lance, Andromedon, Sectoid, Gatekeeper. No effort, let's just let's take the scientist. Setting course for India. We don't need to be afraid here. And in terms of the world map, we just need to make contact with four more regions who've done the whole world. Whoopsie, let's just see who's available though. Being that this is a very difficult, I think we'll take the best we have available. Uh, can we build any of those new arm uh, ammo tops we saw? We can. Viper rounds we can't build. Red screen maybe. It's not. Well, we'll just we'll build one, but we're not going to take it out because we don't have anyone who can who can hack yet. We haven't. Psi transmitter. Let's just have one ready to go. I want to build those viper rounds. Fusion blade we're not going to do just yet. Hell we we don't need. We don't need more rage armor. That's a waste of Illyrium. Only grants bonus to health, but uh, we, we established we don't use that. We only use that on a ranger who doesn't have blade storm. Okay, the best available specialist, best available trooper, best available ranger, infantry, deer, top shooter. We need a rogue, I think. What's missing? Sarp. I don't think we have a sarp available. I think they're, they're both naked. Okay, no. Tian is available. Awesome. Cool. So that's our squad. Davies, Vandermeer, Kingsley, Morozova, Ed, Ito, Stolar, and Kruger, or Kruger, as you guys might say. Right, that was a great mission. Quite a long one, but hell, the retaliation missions always are quite long. We used the mines, which were underwhelming, to be honest, but I think on this one, we'll give Chris the, we'll give Chris the mines and see whether we get two uses out of it. Grenade in the grenade-only slot. Uh, two uses. See if the mines work. Alrighty. I'm 749. This has been XCOM 2. Thanks for watching, chaps. See you next time.